Hello friends. Today we will be going to find the square root of a number. So for finding square root of a number, what actually methods which we require is now I am going to discuss. First of all, I will tell you a method through which we can use the library functions, and through library functions we can find the square root of a number. And second method, what we will do is by a simple method that is by incrementing each number by one time. and then multiplying that number with that number only and checking whether this number comes out to be same as that number which are given for finding the square root and if it come out to be the same then sending that number in the return and we will be using the the third method that is the optimized method by checking reference point i will tell you these three methods in detail first let's see uh, by library functions suppose an interviewer asks you to write the square root of a number and you use that library function then obviously that is not the method which the interviewer is looking so you will come out in to be in a big dilemma and that will be sad for you in that interview and you will cut a sorry figure in that interview so this is not recommended to use library functions for interview process and second method when you will use so let's see what you will use in that method in that incrementing each number by one time then you can find the square root of a number so the code which you will write is check whether the number is 0 or 1 if it comes out to be 0 or if it comes out to be 1 then obviously return that number only because the square root of 0 and 1 are the same that is 0 and 1 only respectively while it even comes out to be 0 and 1 then you will apply a while loop and in while loop you will check a reference point that is the i and multiply that i with that i only to check whether it comes out to be the answer and if the answer is same as the number which is required to be found the square that is the square root is required to found and if it come out to be the same then simply return that i but the thing is that this is the general method which anyone can use and obviously the time complexity is not that good that is the square root of a number so obviously this is also not a good method to use for finding the square root and third method which i'm going to tell you is by checking the reference point by reference point i am telling you like suppose the number given is n so what you will do you will basically start with n and one and end with n so the reference point which you will take is the start for the start that is from one and for end you will take that number only that is the number which is given suppose 25 is given you will apply end as 25 and the reference point which you will take will be the middle point that is the start point plus end point by 2 so in that process that is in this process of taking the reference point of start end and mid by using this method you will come out for the, the comp- time complexity of o, big o of log n so this is the method which you will be using find the square root of a number so here i will be doing the coding regarding the three things which i have told that is by library function and second by incrementing and third by reference of end mid and start point so what i have done here i have created a java function that is java project and that java project i have made a class the default package only and in that class i have provided the main function and simply i am printing out the square root of this is to a get square root function and here i am passing as 16 you can pass anything that is 25 16 9 anything so i am passing in this function and i am doing the code regarding this so let's do by first method which i have told in the presentation that is by a uh, library function so i will simply return math dot square root of the number which i am providing here but this is a good thing when you are coding and you when you are actually writing the code but this, this is not recommended for any interview when you run this run as java application see what i found the square root is 4 so this is by simply by the using library function this, but this is not a good thing to do in the interview process so i am commenting out this or simply i am deleting this and second thing which i'll do is by incrementing that is by simply from a number 1 to till the end so in that scenario i'll write if the number becomes Zero or the number is one. Then what I will do? I will simply return the number because 
if number is 0 or if the number is 1 then the square root of 0 and 1 is that same number that is 0 and 1 refers respectively only if this is not 0 and 1 then while or I'll take two reference points that is int i is equal to 1 comma answer is equal to 1 okay and well what I will do if answer is less than equal to the number then what you what to do is increment i by 1 each time mm -hmm. increment i by 1 each time and answer will be i into i into i okay and I'll check if this answer matches with the number then simply return i as is return i ok this is the second method so for second method when I will run this let me clear the console I have cleared the console run as java application ok see again we got the square root is 4 but this is by second method but this is not an optimized solution so the to instead of getting big O of square root of n we will need big O of log of n so in that scenario what I will do I will use third method by reference of it in mid and start so this I will keep it as it is that is number is equal to 0 1 and what I will do I will take some reference point that is start I will take and as a number only <coughs> and I will take the answer 1 this is giving error because this is not an integer so I will do it as an integer and I will return the integer only <coughs> so I will check if start is less than equal to end and what I will do I will check three things that is if one more thing I will check that is the mid and I will initialize mid is equal to start plus end by 2 I will take the midpoint so I will take a start and I will check if this mid into mid comes out to be the number then simply return mid else if mid is less than the number that is end <coughs> or simply say as number only mid into mid then what to do simply increment the mid simply increment the start is equal to mid plus 1 and assign answer as mid only <coughs> else what to do else make end to come at a lesser point so if mid into mid comes out to greater than number number which we have um, to find the square root then what to do if it comes out to be greater than then make end to be less than that end so it will become mid minus 1 so I will in the end I will return answer answer ok so this will be end ok so uh, let us clear the console and turn it once again run as java application so again we got square root is 4 this is the third method that is the optimized method we are taking the reference point midpoint start point and end point and we are taking that mid comes out to be that mid into mid comes out to be the number then simply return the mid 
if it comes out to be less than that number then directly we are incrementing mid uh, we are making the start as mid plus 1 else we are decrementing the end and making it as mid minus 1 so in this way we will do it in big o of log of and time complexity so that's for today thank you for watching